today we got a Buick Enclave. I believe it's a 2013. Uh, this ticker will tell you it is 11 and 12, so it's a 13. Anyway, get your clip tool out right here. Uh, you're going to take a whole bunch of clips out um, across the front. Um, there's one over here hidden, holds that side little clip it cover in. Then you got to take these out. That one was broke, nothing I could do, but I tried to put it back in. It didn't really work out well. Um, get all them out across the front, both sides. Then you got these 15s, wiper blades. Make sure when you take them out, they are at a 90 degree angle and just wiggle them after you take the bolts off. Leave the dirt mark on the windshield. That's where you're gonna line them back up to. Makes it life easy. Um, if there's not a mark, maybe put a piece of tape. Either way, we're not taking the big side cover off. Everybody says you gotta take it off. You don't. Pull it forward, weasel the other one out. Nice and easy. It's, it's not the hardest thing in the world to do. Then you're going to get all them out, and you're going to lift that over the strut. Past your side is less room to pull it out, so you'll see. Um, we're going to lift it out, and then you're going to get right in there, and this is what you see. Boom. Both sides off. You can now look down in, and you're going to see the bolts that hold the strut. This is what I used. Socket, small extension. I believe they were 15s, if not 14s. Bang, them three. There was four holes, but we only did three. Another three. The three, see, top of the strut. A little bit of wet starting to go bad. And this Look at that thing, blown out. out. Oily as heck. Definitely part of the problem. That one's the worst. A lot of bouncing really in the front end, a lot of noise. We did find something else wrong also, but. So, kind of missed taking it apart, but here you go. We got the top out, then you got the two big bolts that hold the strut. Two the there's the up top we put them in first but then to get these out you got to take out literally these two 24s i believe smack them out with a hammer the end's going to be rounded over you're not going to hurt anything remember remember how you took them out uh the sway bar link's always the fun part um see how they, the narrows there you got to beat them in you only got to beat them in a little little grabs and then it'll zap in um and then you got this little clip that holds the wire for the abs Make sure you put that in. Make sure you take it apart. Pretty simple. Actually goes on the back side, I believe. Where's the wire? Oh, roll it side. It's on the back side. But there you see how easy it comes out. And it does have a half moon shape, so it only fits in one way. So if you obviously see I tried and couldn't get it in. And then, oh, look, there's the moon. There's the moon shape up there. Boom, half moon. Clip that in after you get this on. Um... Sway bar links are difficult to get off if they don't have the Allen key dead center of the bolt. Make sure you push this clip back in. It's going to keep their wire routed out of the way of the tire. Uh, we didn't even take the uh, outer tire on enough. But here you go. We used vice grips to pinch the inside lip to en enable us to get the bolt off. I recommend spraying and wire brushing the end before you take the bolt off. Just because it makes it easier for going back on. Um, believe this is a 18. This gun is way too big for this job, but a buddy of mine gave me it to test out, and geez, this thing's a monster. Uh, I've already broken two lugs with it. Uh, right now, I got it set on one, I think. But anyway, pretty basic. Um, put all the bolts back in, zap them tight. 19 on the back side. I think that was a 22 or 24. Um, on the on the nut side pretty simple this job is straightforward as it gets if you're a mechanic and you're mechanically inclined one or the other you can definitely do it again I'm not no mechanic I'm a parts replacement professional here you go we're zapping it back together like I said you don't even got to hold the back side if you get it on so far preferably a deep socket there but I make a shallow socket work while take by taking it off of the gun a little sticking it on the bolt okay make sure the wires routed correctly two bolts in nice and tight three bolts up top nice and tight everything rerouted wires hoses the way they were in the beginning of the job 